Hey everybody, hi, welcome, and thanks so much for joining me and my incredibly sleepy happy crew. <laughs> it is super late in the day. I'm not sure what they did while I was working all day, but they're exhausted. Why, Santa, can you say hi to everybody? Hi, welcome. Nothing. This is Zena. If you're new to my channel, Wyatt, I'm Laura. So happy you are here. If you love unboxings, shopping hauls, reviews, please hit that subscribe and hang out for the long haul. Today, I have my favorite style box. Yes, I do. Ah, my trend send is here. I have the best stylist. Her name is Emma. She always rocks this box. I have always, always kept four or more items from my Transcends. So let's see how she did with this one and dig right in. If you are new to Transcend, it is through the store Ever Eve, and you get uh, three outfits your stylist will put together for you. Usually equates to around seven or eight items. Um, $20 styling fee comes off anything that you keep. You do fill out a profile. If you keep four or more items, you get 10% off your items and you can you can create a wish list on the Ever Eve site, and as long as you use the same email on that site to create your account as you do on the Trendsend site to create your account, your stylist can see your wish list, and you might get some of those items in your box. It also helps your stylist see what types of items that you like um, and what your preferences are as well. All right. So as soon as I open my box, this is what I see. And you get a little pamphlet here that has notes from your stylist. And my stylist does write notes for each of my outfits as well as an overall note. And you get your pricing sheet. Um, this also tells you happy unboxing and what to do. You get an envelope to return anything you don't love and don't want to keep. And you get your happy little bundles. Yay! Love them. So excited. All right. First bundle. Picked up a little one. This was a little one right on top. Looks like there's two items in here. Let's see what these are. Looks like two tops. I'm ripping them. They package them so nicely. Ooh, so this was a wish list item. I love ACDC tees. I don't know why. I love them. I saw this one and I did put it on my wish list. This is a chaser tee. How fun is this? So many fun colors. Be so cute under Jack's cart jackets and cardies. Um, so cute going into spring as well. Has a little rounded hem. So that was fun. I love the leopard print, and this is um, like felty, velvety, velvety. <laughs> so cute. That's the first item, and. The second one is, is this a little cardigan to go with it? It might be, by Sanctuary. This is a cream with a little bit of tan through it. Almost looks like a little bit of a tie dye, but that would actually go really cute over top of it. Has the five little buttons down the front. And yeah, that would also be a great transitional piece, wear now, wear later. It's soft. I like that. Let's see what outfit. I probably picked the last outfit. I did not. This is outfit number two. The Let's Hang Cardi and the ACDC Leopard T. Your wish for the ACD, ACDC T is my command. Layer it under the tie-dye cardigan and then complete the outfit with um, jeans that are in here. So I'm not going to say what they are yet. You can also keep the cardigan buttoned up and front tuck it into the jeans like you would a pullover. It, if it feels a little too low cut with the v-neck, slip a cami underneath it for, for, for more coverage. Awesome. I do like that look whenever the buttons are close enough and you can wear it as a top as opposed to a cardi. It gives, gives you more options. All right, I see this bundle has the jeans, so let's do this one next. All right, what's on top here? So I saw these in the store. So it's fascinating that she sent me one because I was like, hmm, wonder if I would like this. This is by Sanctuary and it has shoulder pads. Look at that. It actually has shoulder pads. What do you think of this little tank? 
Can you see that little shoulder pad in there? Interesting, right? I wasn't sure about it. Yep, I wasn't sure. So that's interesting. It's very square, too. It looks a bit like a football jersey to me. <laughs> it's not a V-neck, but it's cute. We'll see what it looks like. I'm not completely sold, but I have not tried it on, so we will have to look at it. Oh, this was on my wish list. Well, I don't know if this was on my wish list, but I liked it. Um, this is really cute by Z Supply. Would be really cute with the mauve jacket I kept from my last Trendsend. Has the little rounded hem as well. Pretty little tie dye. Very cute. It might be on my wish list actually. And then these are the jeans. These are by Cut. How awesome are these? <laughs> these are in their brand new catalog. Love this fringy um, top waistband. Is that not cool? Buttons down the front. I don't know. There's something about these I love. They have an unfinished hem. Some distressing, but not too bad. I just loved this unfinished waistband. These are the Connie Ankle Skinny High Rise. In love with these. I'm so glad she sent these to me. I wanted to try them. Love. These were probably on my wish list also. Wonder. They just, this, those were just in their uh, spring catalog if you got it. So there's one more item that's in this in this group of clothing here. I'm going to show you before I read it. This was definitely on my wish list. <laughs> yes, it's a jacket. But how awesome is this little jacket? Oh, is this not adorable? So it has the little poofy sleeves. It's called the Boss Mode Jacket. I love it. It's like a little bomber, leather bomber. Um, has the little front pockets here at the bottom. Has this fun little pop sleeve. The collar like stands up just a little bit there. Adorable. So adorable. Here's the back. Oh, in love. I'm so glad she sent that to me. So the, the number one outfit was the Boss Mode Jacket by BB Dakota, the Sanctuary Shoulder Pad Tee, the Z Supply Tove, Tove Cloud Dye Slub Rib Tunic Tee. That's a lot of words <laughs> that don't go easily together. And then the Cut from the Cloth High Rise Connie Ankle Skinny with Expose, which is probably supposed to be the Expose Buttons. Another day, another jacket. This one is so chic with the puff sleeves and is sure to be a new go-to for you. Layer it over the tie-dye tee and tuck that into these fun new cut jeans you requested and finish off the look with your new P448 high tops. I also included this shoulder pad tee I saw on your wish list a while back. I don't remember that. Tuck it in for an easy one and done look. It can also be layered with the jacket as you wait for temps to heat up in PA. So I don't remember the, it, that ever being on my on my um, wish list, but that's okay. I'll try it. All right, and last couple items. These are so fun. These might these might have been wish list items too. How fun is this? This is by Chaser. Adorable. Love the colors. Wonderful spring transition piece. This um, almost feels sweatery. The material, if you can get closer to so you can see that. So it'd be nice for layering under things, nice for by itself in the spring. Love the colors. Here's the back. It's a fun animal print. And then I know, I'm pretty sure these were on my wish list too. I thought these were adorable. These are by Paige. They're not going to be cheap, but I thought they were so fun. So these are a denim jogger. Check that bottom out. Little zippers. I have no idea how they're going to fit me. This is either going to be a hit or a miss, but I was so curious to try them. Um, I think they're a little bit more of a relaxed fit, which I was hoping. And then here's the back. I love the light wash. They have the flip flat pockets. 
but they are attached, it looks like. Oh yeah, they're, they snap, maybe? Oh no, they're just attached, that's weird. Yeah, they're like sewn on the, um, on the two sides, which is nice because then you don't have to worry about them like getting wrinkled up. Okay. And that little outfit would be cute with the jacket too. All right, so outfit three is the Chaser Painted Leopard Pullover, the Page Denim Maisley Jogger. I was so happy to see these joggers on your wish list. They are definitely an investment, but are down to a much better price with your referral discount. <gasps> that means you guys have my back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys used my referral link that I will put down below. If you do that, when you sign up for Trendsend, you get 20% off your first box and I get 20% off my next box. So thank you, thank you, thank you. One of you used my link and that means I'm getting 20% off any of the pieces that I keep from this box. A huge thank you to those of you that have used my referral link. I so appreciate it. It allows me to keep bringing this box to my channel and allows me to keep some pieces, probably one or two more than I would normally keep. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Front tuck the leopard pullover into the joggers for a look you can dress up and down with sneakers and heels. You like that idea, Z? You want to say thank you too? All right, that is all the pieces. I think Emma did amazing once again. I cannot wait to try these on, so let's do it. Okay, guys, so I'm doing this cardigan by itself first because I wanted you to see what it looked like. The V is a little bit deep for me, so I probably have to do something underneath it but I do like it by itself as a top as opposed to just a cardigan. I think that the material of this is nice for wear now, wear later. Um, it's lightweight but not too lightweight that you can't wear it now so that it's full on just spring. I think it's a nice winter spring piece. Love the colors in it so you could pop a color underneath here. You could do a lacy cami. You could do a bright tank. Um, I think there's a lot that you could do with this. You could even do have some fun with shoes. I just popped on a tan shoe for some of these other pieces, but um, a lot you could do with it. You could also do a little front tuck so you could showcase a little bit of um, this fun waistband of the jeans, which in love, in love, in love. Um, but a cute little piece. I do like that it has this white band with the white down the front or the, the off-white um, piping so it kind of stands out. What do you guys think? I like it. And the jeans in love. So these have amazing stretch. So even in the waistband, they have stretch. So when you're buttoning them up, it's nice and easy, super comfortable. They have a little bit of distressing at the knee. Nothing else has holes, so I don't mind that. The length is perfect. If you can see it by ankle here, perfect for me. Um, I have a 28 inch seam in seam so that can give you a point of reference um i really really like these jeans i like the exposed buttons it's really in the season i'm seeing this so much more than i have in the past um, from a lot of different uh, jean brands cute outfit all right i'm going to show you the um this over top of the acdc top also but for pricing, the cut from the cloth, high rise, funny, ankle skinny, $64, the original price, $89. So with my discount, $64. And if I keep four more items, it would be another $10 off. And the Let's Hang Cardi by Sanctuary, my price, $71.28, down from, I'm guessing, $88. Nope, $99. Yep, down from 99. 71.28 would be my price for this. All right, let's try on the ACDC tee. So next up is this ACDC tee. Why does this tee make me happy? <laughs> I don't know. I think that the fun lettering design just makes me smile for some reason. This has a cute rounded hem, comes up at the side. It is longer um, in the back. I let, left off the Cardi. I'm gonna try that together since she had them together, but I wanted you to see this first. See the fun print. This is like soft. So cute. I think you can do a fun little um, front tuck. You could tuck it all in, all the way around. 
if you wanted to. Um, so many ways to have fun with this. We're gonna throw the cardi on. And I think these look cute together. Yeah, like them with my booties too. You guys think. Fun. So the ACDC T is 66 regularly with my discount 47.52. A little bit closer so you can see these patterns. I think this would even be fun. You could add an additional layer and put a jean jacket on top of this. Um, and swap out your pants if you wanted to. So going into warmer weather, you could always do like something tan on the bottom. I think there's a lot you could do. All right, we'll keep going. Next up is the fun tie-dye top. And if I'm remembering correctly, I believe that Emma told me to try it with my P448 high top. So that's what I threw on with this. Um, this one has these high cut outs, not quite on the side, but almost moved to the front a little bit. A little bit longer in the back, you can see. Seam down the back. Here's what it looks like. I'm gonna get closer so you can see this material. I'm hoping you can see this a little bit. Kind of has a weave through it. And then she said to, I wanna do a little bit of a front tuck too with this to see what it would look like. Um, I like the French tuck, that's just me because I think it adds some additional shape, but I also think it's a little bit harder to do when you have like the higher slits. So I never know what to do once you have these extra higher slits. So then it just looks weird because it's like long in the back. So she had said, layered over the tie-dye tee and tuck that into these fun new cut jeans, so maybe we should just tuck the whole thing in. Let's hurry up and try that, because I think that would probably look better. Because I don't think tops like this do well with just a French tuck. All right, we're just gonna do that. And try the leather bomber, let's do it. What do you think of the puffy sleeves on this? Is that not cute? It makes such a fun statement. Dresses up the jacket a little bit. Now, I'll tell you, my first thought is that this might be a little small, so I might need to size up. So it's a little bit tight through here. You guys can probably see that. And I can feel a little bit of my arms. So I think I'm probably gonna have to size up in this jacket, but I do think it is cute. Check out the little pocket in the front. Little bomber style. I, I like the little puff sleeves. It's something different and, I don't know, has like an extra fun little look to it. Now, of course, the sleeves are perfect for me, so I hope when I size up that that's not gonna be an issue because the length is perfect. And I love that they named this one the Boss Mode Jacket. Yeah, but I definitely can feel it, so I'm gonna have to Take a chance, hope that the arms aren't too long, and size up if I keep it. I think it's fun. I think it looks cute dressed down, you know, with the tennis shoes as well. What do you guys think? Do you like that look? I also think it would be cute um, dressed up over top of a dress, a skirt and a top, dress pants. So this boss mode jacket is $71.28 my price. Originally $99 is the full price. Not bad. The um, Tove Cloud Dye Slub Rib Tunic Tee. <laughs> $54 my price, $38.88 if I keep this one. And I, I'm not sure about, I don't know what to do like with all of this. Yeah, I can even see like the slits. I don't know about this one because I feel like I'm very confused by how high these slits come up and whether to tuck it, what to do with it. 
I feel like I always have to tuck it. I don't know. All right, let's try this shoulder pad tank top. <laughs> okay, what do you guys think of this? All right, there's a couple things first. I don't like it because it's a little bit low cut here under the arm, so I'd have to wear something underneath it. You can see my bra. Um, that's the first thing. Second of all, it feels a little like fly away here. Um, that might be supposed to be part of the look, but I feel like it's actually adding like bulk to me. Um, it feels either like <laughs> Star Wars costumey or 80s vibes, right? Because of the, the shoulder pads. I just don't think I can go there. Yeah, I don't think it's me. There's something about it. I'm, I'm pretty sure if I tried to be this fashion forward, I would not grab for it. Here's a closer look so you can see this and hopefully really see these shoulder pads. <laughs> oh my. I think if I probably saw this on someone else, I probably would like it, but on me, I just, I don't think so. So this one is the shoulder pad tee by Sanctuary, $42. Ironically, it's the least expensive item in my collection. $30.24 if I wanted to keep it. Um, but at this right now, I'm thinking, no, it's even doing something weird at, like my chest. I don't know. It looks like a big, like a Roman block T, uh, like the letter T or something on me. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> One more outfit. Let's do it. Last outfit, I have on these fun page joggers and this amazingly soft chaser top. Um, I love this top. <laughs> I love how low the scoop neck is. I love the fun colors in it. I think the leopard print just adds some extra fun to it. Lots and lots of um, visual interest going on in this top. It's also thin enough that you could layer it under a jacket if you wanted to. So um, if I wanted to put this jacket on over top of it, I certainly could. It would be uh, very fun, very cute. Um, I love these light wash joggers. What do you guys think of them? They do have zippers here at the end. You could unzip, leave zipped, or zipped right now. Uh, you can um, put these on with tennis shoes. I threw on the tan booties I had in here, but I think they'd be cute with like silver booties. Um, you could even do a color shoe if you wanted to. You could do a heel, depending on how you wanted to, if you want to dress these up or keep them casual. I think there's so much you could do with these um, and have fun anywhere from a flat to a heel, but lots that you could do with these particular pants. They're actually very, very soft. They do have the um, flat pockets, which sometimes will add to your bum, but these aren't sticking out too bad. So I think that is fantastic. And the material on here is not thick, so it's not um, uncomfortable. It's laying nicely. So I think these, um, <laughs> I know they're gonna be expensive, but I do think they're I think they're a really good quality pant. Let me show you what I did front tuck as Emma has suggested, but I think this would also look just as cute out. And you can see that uh, nice white band around the bottom. Here's some material. I think I have fun playing with some different shoes with these. And let's get over the sticker shock of these. So the painted leopard pullover, $79. My price would be $56.88. And the Maisley jogger by Paige Denim, $219 with my discount, thanks to one of you, $157.68. If I wanna keep them, and then of course, if I keep four items, I would get 10 additional 10% off those prices I read to you if I keep um, the four or more. That's everything, what did you guys think? I thought this was fun. So this time Emma picked several items from my wish list, um, which is nice because then I got a chance to try them, decide if I like them. Oh, what to do? What's your favorites? Please comment down below and tell me what your favorites were. What do you think are the keepers? 
I actually really like this outfit. I would love this with tennis shoes. I would love this with sandals, these pants with sandals going into um, spring. I like things these would be cute with mules, flip-flops, like you name it. I think you could wear these with just about anything, as well as wearing them now with sweaters to wearing them with tank tops. So these I feel like would be would be a great piece. I have to decide if I want to spend the money or not. This I'm in love with, so I definitely want to keep this for sure. I do love the cut from the cloth jeans. I just think these are fun with the raw hem. I'm not, I do not like this at all. So I don't think this looks good on me. It's not, it's just not something I think I would reach for. I also love the idea of this top, but I'm not sure that the bottom is something I would know what to do with either. So I feel like this would be kind of a fussy top for me and probably not worth the, the mat, the, if I can talk, not worth it. I do love the leather jacket. I'd have to size up, so I hope they have my size because I think for the price, um, which is actually the same price as this cardigan, believe it or not, um, I would love to give this jacket a try, but you guys know I'm a jacket girl. I do love them, and I still have jacket weather probably all the way through May, so I would get some use out of this. I think this would be fun. I think this would be cute with this top, too. And I actually did really like these two, and I like them together. But I did think it was a lot for this particular cardigan, but a great transitional piece into um, spring. So the two items I'm sure that I don't want are these two. The rest, up for grabs. <laughs> so tell me what you thought. And that actually gets, there's one, two, three, four, so five, six that I like. That's a lot, see, huh? Six out of the eight. This is how good Emma does all the time. She always does that good. Oh, all right. So help me narrow it down. Share your favorites. I will list all of these items down below in case you want to ask for any of them from your stylist or put any of them on your wish list. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. This was so much fun. Transcend is my very favorite style box right now. And Emma just is amazing. So thank you, Emma, if you're watching. Love this collection, so much fun. I will put my link to Transcend down below as well. Like I said earlier, if you use my link, you'll get 20% off your first box, and I'll get 20% off my next box. And hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Would love you hanging out for the long haul and hit that subscribe. And until next time, bye everybody.